this is definitely the race in the country uh, that has everybody's attention even though most people are not voting for the governor of Georgia. Uh, for a lot of reasons, Stacey Abrams, possible first uh, black uh, female governor. Uh, Kemp, like a uh, guy running for governor in Kansas, is the secretary of state who has done things that some people quite clearly um, articulate as being a voter suppression activity, but the, an ID law that he's put in, he's supervising elections and he's running for a governor. That's right. I mean, and, and even though this has nothing to do with the balance of power in the Senate or the House, which Correct. of course a lot of our reviewers are, are really interested in, I really think this governor's race, and probably the one in Florida as well, is really the distillation of sort of where these parties are. So it, it, those are the two races I'm looking at most closely on yeah. Tuesday. You've got a perfect sort of left versus right, Trumpy Republican nominee uh, running for the Republic, running on the Republican side, and then on the Democratic side, you have members of the coalition of the ascendant. Mm -hmm. Remember, we sort of talked about that right. during the Obama years. You've got candidates who are younger, they're progressive, and they are not, they're, they're people of color. Yeah. One's a woman, one's a man. That's Andrew Gillum in Florida. So you've got sort of the distillation of both, where both parties are right now. And you have, basically, it's a clash of the titans that way. And in both places, the, the, the Democrat, the Gillum and Abrams are running, saying, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tack to the center. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for those supposedly, you know, moderate voters who are trying to figure out where they want to go, they're looking for voters who haven't voted before who are more with mm -hmm. them on progressive issues. They think that that's the solution. It's not to sort of be the mushy middle. It's really to sort of tack hard left. Right. So it's taking a risk. I mean, you said that before, Stephanie. You know, maybe some of those suburban voters who are really fired up and want to be involved this time may not be fully comfortable with that, but both Gillum and Stacey Abrams are taking the chance yep. that that's the way to win, that you're going to pull out people who want to feel passionate, who want to really, really tack that direction and not just be sort of all things to all people. All right, but to the star power point, Oprah shows up, VP Pence shows up. Anyone who's attending one of those events, I'm guessing they're already engaged and they're either voting uh, and they know who they're voting for. So does sure. star power make a difference beyond getting more national attention? You know, it's hard to say. I would put Oprah in, in a special category. I, I mean, Vice President Pence is, you know, he's a, he's a Republican. He's President, President Trump's deputy, so of course he's going to be out campaigning. Oprah does not get invo that involved in politics and she's also sort of a unicorn in terms of being a celebrity because she's so well known. Everybody mm -hmm. in the country knows her. She, she has this sort of unique appeal to, to, to black voters, black women especially, but also all those women who watched her talk show all those years, many of whom are those suburban voters who we've mm -hmm. been talking about, who are trying to decide where they want to go. So for Oprah to step out, which she does very rarely for a candidate and say, I, I want to get behind this person, it means more. She's not just kind of running down the list of, oh, I'll get involved in any, candidate, any, mm. any race that a Democrat's involved in. She made her choice. Right. She chose this race. I think she makes a difference. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.